Welcome to Fresh Fishing, I'm Wayne and today I've, uh, I've taken advantage, I've snuck out on a sneaky day session. I say I always say sneaky when I'm on my own, uh, mainly because it's uh, normally a last minute thing. Um, not at work today, so yeah, I thought, you know what, what, where can I go? Where can I go to try and land a fish on the bank? Um, I've been a little bit disheartened, disheartened with fishing lately. Um, I feel like I'm constantly blanking. Um, I was talking to Foxy about it. I said, Foxy, why are all these thumbnails, the pictures basically of, you know, the videos on YouTube, um, why are all the thumbnails of you holding fish? Where am I at? Um, <laughs> the last decent fish I landed was back in February when we were at Wellham. Um, don't get me wrong, I haven't been out too much because I've just had a newborn baby, etc. cetera. So um, yeah, I think I might be giving myself a bit of a hard time, but I thought, you know what? It's a beautiful day again. Um, Northeast are seeing some lovely weather recently. Um, so why not get out? Listen, you've got to be in it to win it, right? I'm not going to land a big fish if I'm not on the bank fishing. So take advantage. Let's get these rods out and uh, see what we can do today. Oh, I forgot to mention where I am. So I'm at Tees Valley Lakes. Um, me and Foxy were literally here on the weekend. Um, fishing Yarm Lake for the first time. So uh, Foxy had a 19 pounder out of there. Um, I blanked, or I caught a roach. It is an old um, an old coarse lake that they've taken loads of fish out um, and restocked with, with specie fish, but obviously there's still a few little ones floating around. I managed to, to nick a roach. Um, but it's still a blank, isn't it? When you're out for specie fish. So let's see if I can land a, a big one on the bank today. It would be lovely to get, um, you know, a 20, um, I believe the late record here is 25. So yeah, even if, imagine we could do the late record. That'd be amazing. So as I say, you've got to be in it to win it. Let's get these rods out, see what we can do. are all set up I haven't put them out there yet because I need to go and take that barrow back so I'll take that barrow back get these rods out oh before I do that I want to get some pellet wet for those uh, two rods which have got mega methods on um, yeah so I'll get that get that barrow back and uh, get these rods out Right, so before I go any further with my fishing, the most important bit of tackle on days like today is 
get that cream on. We're going with, look, it's the kids one, Factor 50 as well. Listen, you can never be too careful. Smother that gear all in. I do not want to burn, especially after just having a form of skin cancer, skin cancer removed from my nose um, at the end of last year. So yeah, I've well and truly learnt my lesson. And if you haven't been there yet, good. But if you are on the bank and you don't put cream on, you'll probably get there. So start whacking that cream on chaps and ladies. Bosh. Right, come on you little beauties. The traps are on the dance floor. Don't kill my groove. Let's do it. Come on. Think positive. Positive things will happen. Manifest that. S-H-I-T. Right, I bought my um, I bought my old saber bivy today. As you can see, first ever bivy. Um, still got it. It's light. It's compact. And on days like today, all it is designed for is to keep the sun off me. So, get that bad boy up. Sit and relax in the sun. update for you nothing on the bank yet as you well know you would have seen it by now um, yeah I've just kind of been chilling back watching the water there's been a couple of boshes uh, in one particular spot that I've put the rod over and there's nothing as yet um, in fact kind of that rod a few little drop backs but nothing kind of you know that's making me want to pick it up and take it but I've kind of been sat here contemplating because the, the rigs I've had on there from the last kind of few sessions. So yeah, you know like those finer details that make you feel confident. So I pulled those in, I've put brand new rigs on, on all of them. Um, they're all, all on mega method feeder now. I didn't really discuss what, what I was doing when I went to the start. So yeah, all mega methods now. And I've got the free runs basically along the, the back margin um, I'll show you that so yeah along the back margin you've got an aerator in the corner so I've got one right on top of that uh, and you've got two big kind of standout bushes um, one kind of in the center and one probably about I don't know 20 foot further left to it um, so I've got one kind of in front of, of each of those so um, yeah that's kind of what's happening on the fishing front so now I'm feeling a little bit more confident about you know if, if I do get a, a pickup hopefully that will lead to a hook fish um, we'll see fingers crossed like I say you've got to be here to win it so Whoa, look at that them skinny milk bottle legs getting tanned up factor 50 it's always the way guys factor 50 right ladies and gents i have been near enough non-existent on the camera on this session to be honest with you i've been dying with my hay fever absolutely dying um it's coming up to about seven o'clock now so yeah i probably got the rods out about half 11 um so yeah good bit of fishing been done nothing doing there's been a couple of boshes uh over by a couple of the um the bushes over there listen i've had my rigs there um so the pack down started put the bivy down um i've got to go and i'm gonna go and grab the the barra from down the front 
so rods are gonna have to come in in a minute i'm gonna give it five minutes you never know that last little one let's see well 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 i'm so sorry i didn't get any of the take any of the fight but i landed one come on get in yes so i'm gonna get prepped uh, i can't believe that's just happened i was just gonna pull my rods in i've said to myself you know what now i'll give it five more minutes and uh all day long those two bushes have been the ones that's had the the three boshes so the one on the left two boshes the one on the right one but i've had oh sorry i lost the camera there but i've had the uh a rig over by that aerator all day and that's the one that's just gone come on oh mate i am absolutely over the moon with this damn 23 and a half pounds and it's a scaly banger there you have it what an absolute sight to behold and I finally got a thumbnail picture with me and a fish for our, our YouTube videos. Get in, absolutely buzzing. Come on, scaly banger, you what? Oh man, buzzing I came out for this day session now. Yes, let's get her back. Uh. She goes. Yes. Oh, mate, I'm absolutely buzzing with that. Get in, come on. Forgot to mention, actually, that was on uh, Parker Bates Wafter um, Fruit and Nut. So, yeah, chuffed to bits with that one. Um, I'm going to sign off here. I'm going to pull these rods in and uh, do what I was planning on doing kind of 10 minutes ago i'm absolutely ruined eyes are stinging like mad <sighs> got one though didn't i come on um yeah so if you like the video i mean you probably didn't really like it up until the point where i caught the fish because yeah, it was probably a little bit boring well i had a little nap as well um but yeah if you like the video click that like button for us um and yeah if you fancy subscribing why not go and click that subscribe button as well uh, whilst you're there hit the alarm bell so you get notified next time we put out new content and we'll see you well probably in france come on